A new art exhibit at the Tull Hall Gallery here in Atlanta is getting a lot of attention. CBS 46's Adam Harding shows us the breathtaking paintings and introduces us to the artist behind it. If you stop and listen to the world, you'll see art Five, four, is all around us. The colors on those pieces down yes, there. Like a painting. It's beautiful, isn't it? On a canvas. Every artist hopes for people to interpret their work how they would and react to it how they would. In northern Alabama, tucked away in an old factory, see a color you like? down this long, creaky hallway, Dana Anderson is hard at work. Want some more? Bringing her latest masterpiece to life. Two nice, strong brush strokes. One stroke of the brush at a time. She has definite opinions, uh, you know, with her color choices and the way she uses her brush stroke. And it's the smile. Two with that, okay. The one right there. Janet Anderson has always wanted for her daughter. She doesn't read or write or speak. Uh, a lot of people think she can't do anything. Dana has Down syndrome and autism. I'm sure her feelings are manifested in the art in some way. But Sherry Broyles first started working with Dana two years ago. Tell me if you want more. Quickly realized her talent. Uh, she picks the tool, she picks the color, she picks the spot on the canvas, and then she goes to work. This is Dana communicating like never before. Art is a universal language, and She's participating in that language just the same as anybody else. No, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Her work has captured so much attention. It takes you to the, the place, the feeling that Dana must have when she does it. It's now launching an exhibit in Atlanta. I love the fact that the exhibit name is Beyond Barriers because we're past the barriers. There are no barriers. The family believes the gallery is the first of its kind locally highlighting an artist with special needs. The more I research, we are now um, saying she's the first artist in the South. And um, that is delightful and frustrating at the same time. They hope Dana's art paints a new picture moving forward. Special needs people aren't just part of the community. They are a vital part. And if you stop and listen, you'll hear Dana when you see her work. Right here, huh? Dana has a voice, and this is the first time, she's 26 years old, this is the first time Dana has had a voice. Mm. I like the way the blue and green are mixing. I'm Adam Harding. Yeah, you've already got some brown on there, you want some more. CBS 46 News. Wow, what a beautiful story. Uh, Dana's exhibit runs through January. The Tall Hall Gallery is at the Central Presbyterian Church in Atlanta.